It's that time of year again, the Oscars, and if you're up to date, you know one actress in the running is Viola Davis for her role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Viola is a Hollywood veteran, but in recent years, she's seen more widespread recognition. Since 2005, the actress was living in a fairly ordinary home in the Granada Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, but in 2016, she upgraded to her current home in Toluca Lake. This gorgeous European-style estate where she lives with her husband and daughter cost $5.7 million and has all the modern upgrades. Today we'll check out where Viola calls home. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Viola Davis is an actress and producer who's the first African American to receive the triple crown of acting, having won an Academy Award, an Emmy Award, and two Tony Awards. Viola was born in South Carolina and started her acting career in Rhode Island with minor theater productions. She then played some small roles in film and TV throughout the late 90s and early 2000s before winning her first Tony Award in 2001 for her Broadway role in King Hedley II. Her film breakthrough came in 2008, but greater success came to the actress in the 2010s when she won another Tony Award, played the Academy Award nominated role of a 1960s housemaid in The Help, and started starring on the A. ABC drama series How to Get Away with Murder. In 2015, she was the first black woman to win the Primetime Emmy Award for her lead role as Annalise on the show, and in 2016, she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for the film Fences. More recently, last year, Viola got universal praise for her performance in the film Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, where she's an Oscar nominee again, this time for the Academy Award for Best Actress. With this nomination, she's the most nominated black actress in the history of the Academy Award with four acting nominations. Viola also received a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2017. At the time of this recording, Viola's estimated net worth is at about $25 million or more, and she and her husband Julius Tennant also have founded a production company, Juvie Productions. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Today we'll be checking out where Oscar nominated Queen Viola Davis calls home, including her former house in Granada Hills, her current Toluca Lake mansion and more. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In 2017, about a year after upgrading her real estate to her current home, Viola sold her former place in Granada Hills for about $1.15 million. This home was fairly ordinary and suburban and seemed a little bit too basic for an Oscar winning actress, if we're being honest, but it served her well for a handful of years since 2005. According to property records, Viola acquired the home about 11 years ago for slightly more than she was selling it for at $1.17 million. Granada Hills is a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley but situated at the border, so pretty far out in Los Angeles, at least by Hollywood or Beverly Hills real estate standards. Viola's former family home was unassuming with a beige stucco exterior and sat on a curved street with other similar looking homes fronted with a large three car garage. Inside the home spanned nearly 4,000 square feet with five beds and five baths. Walking into the house, there's the usual double height entryway with a curved staircase and dark wooden floors which steps down to the attached formal living room that also has soaring ceilings. Here there are some huge windows as well as a gas fireplace and the formal dining room right next to this space has bold red walls which is a pop of color compared to the neutral color theme so far. Viola's former kitchen had plenty of space to cook and eat with the family or to entertain guests and the space looks to have been expensively remodeled. The kitchen boasted all the best stainless steel appliances you could think of, a fancy wine fridge and a large center island that divides it from the breakfast room. Both the breakfast room and the neighboring family room with another fireplace and wall mounted TV overlook the patio and pool outside. The guest room seemed to have been painted varying colors, one a bright purple and another a baby blue, so it's safe to say one of those rooms once belonged to her daughter. The master suite was as roomy as they come and had a double sided fireplace, separate lounge area and more than one walk in closet. According to listing materials, there were several. The en suite had been updated recently and came with both a jetted tub and a tiled shower. The outdoor features of the home were the most memorable and probably my favorite. Out back while the yard wasn't big, it was 
built to entertain, hosting a dining terrace, a built-in barbecue area, and my favorite feature, the pool. The lagoon-style swimming pool was set into some faux boulders and had a waterfall. In 2016, Viola and her family moved into their current contemporary home in the heart of Toluca Lake, and with one glimpse at it, you can already tell it's a serious upgrade and worthy of an Oscar-winning actress. This 7,545-square-foot mansion costs $5.7 million, and it's located in the most star-studded part of Toluca Lake. Toluca Lake is a neighborhood in Los Angeles close to Studio City and much more central to Hollywood than Granada Hills was. It was given its name because of the natural private lake there. Viola and her family live in a neighborhood surrounded by other famous folks, such as Steve Carell, who's two doors down from her, singer Sia, and then a mansion owned by P. Diddy, which is occupied by one of his baby mamas. The contemporary European-style abode offers five bedrooms and eight baths, and all the amenities look brand new and fresh according to listing photos. Viola's home came with features like a top-of-the-line home theater and a beautiful kitchen. The mansion has an angled front door that leads you through double doors to the grand entryway with high ceilings and hardwood floors. Nearby, a living room boasts pastel walls, a large fireplace, and built-in bookshelves to add some sophistication, and the dining room is just as classy. Here there's a sparkling chandelier and vaulted ceilings, and the room looks like it connects to the butler's walk-in pantry. This is just a taste of what's to come, because Viola's kitchen is about as luxurious as it gets. It boasts a 60-inch gas range, griddle, sub-zero fridge, dual dishwashers, and a microwave drawer. The countertop are all glittering marble while the island has plenty of seating and purple ash wood cabinets. The surround sound equipped family room with fireplace also apparently has a wet bar, but there's an even better place for kicking back. When Ms. Davis wants to watch a movie outside of work, the mansion boasts a state-of-the-art theater with 133-inch screen and 4K projector for the full cinema effect. When it's time to do some business or make some calls, Viola or her husband can use the light-filled home office that has leather furnishings and more built-in bookshelves. One of the nicest rooms in her mansion has got to be her master suite. Even though it has wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, in this case it's modern and plush, and the space also has a sitting area with fireplace and walkout balcony. The classy carpets flow into the massive dressing room that's perfect for holding a ton of clothes and accessories. The ensuite boasts shiny marble floors as well as separate vanities, a glass shower, and a soaking tub. Other features of her home include a 600 bottle wine closet and what listing materials called a media bath with TV. Of course, we haven't even checked out the backyard yet. The grounds of Viola's property are also stacked with features such as a California kitchen with beverage center and Viking barbecue set into the stone terrace. There's also a fire pit, saltwater pool and spa, and a pool bathroom. It seems that whoever constructed or built Viola's residence thought of all the modern upgrades since the property even comes with plenty of security cameras speakers that continue to the outside space, and an electric car charging station. Last year for Viola's 55th birthday, it was reported that she made a very meaningful real estate purchase. The Oscar-winning actress was proud to report she was now the owner of the home where she was born in St. Matthews, South Carolina. The property sits on the former Singleton Plantation, where Viola and her extended family once called home. She shared an image on Instagram of the rundown building, writing in the caption, The above is the house where I was born August 11th, 1960. It is the birthplace of my story. Today, on my 55th year of life, I own it. All of it. May you live long enough to know why you were born. Cherokee birth blessing. Viola had opened up about her time growing up on this property as a child, her grandmother's farm here, and despite somewhat difficult living conditions, her family found happiness there. She said, There was no running water, no bathroom, just an outhouse. But my mom says that the day I was born, all of my aunts and uncles were in the house. She said everyone was drinking and laughing and having fun. However, it was later reported that Viola didn't actually purchase the property. In the comment section, she clarified that she didn't own the above home, she just owned her story. So now we've looked at the homes of award-winning actress Viola Davis, so I think I'll wrap up this house tour here. We checked out her former pretty basic house in Granada Hills, Los Angeles, and the well-deserved upgrade in Toluca Lake where she still resides to this day. After checking out both properties, which was your favorite? I think the obvious answer is that her current home is much nicer from the classy neighborhood to the modern interiors, but the former still had cool features like the lagoon-style pool. Be sure to let me know down in the comments about what you liked or didn't like about Viola's home. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video, leave me a comment there, and we can chat. Luca Magnotta had an obsession with the movie Basic Instincts, and there were actually similarities with his murder. In 2003, he began his sporadic porn career. I think he, Luca, was being cannibalistic. 
Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.